Hello everybody, welcome back to the React Masterclass by my project ideas. And today I'm going to show you how to integrate the Tailwind CSS into our React project. So, so far I have discussed like uh, uh, styling based on inline styling and separate file styling and just based on the CSS. Now Tailwind is CSS is CSS with superpowers. Uh, it makes development so much faster and so much uh, efficient. And uh, it also saves us a lot of time. And uh, overall, it's very fast and very efficient to use, I will say. So Tailwind CSS is a very good thing to implement or a good thing to use for styling purposes. So let us see how to integrate in our project. So here I am on the Tailwind's main website. And I will go to the docs. And inside the docs, it's already shown here using Beat. So how we can use the Tailwind CSS into our project. But we are inside our React project, I will say. So we will click on the framework guides and uh, I will click on, let's just search for the Beat React project. Currently, there is not any React router. Okay, fine. I think this suite will be the one we are using. Okay, now let's just copy this dependency here and go to our project. Now I will open my terminal and inside the terminal, I will install this dependency. These two dependencies, Tailwind CSS and Tailwind CSS slash read. Okay, let it install. Okay, it's installed. Okay, before that, before using the Tailwind CSS in our project, I will remove this uh, app.css index.css, not the index.css file. Instead, I will remove all the code here. And uh, we are even now. Okay, and find this app.css import should also go and inside the main.jsx2. Okay, it's fine. Index.css is necessary. Okay, and now let's just go to the terminal and run our project. And our project is running. Now let's just see what are the next steps to do. So in the Tailwind CSS slash Vite, I mean, this is a plugin we will be using in our Vite config. So just like it, uh, we will be using this in our project's Vite config. Now go to the Vite.config.js. I will close the terminal and here import Tailwind CSS from Tailwind CSS slash wheat. Let us check, check if we are correct or not. Tailwind CSS. Okay, it's correct now. But somehow it's not detecting. Yeah, okay, its value is not used. And inside the plugin, I will use Tailwind CSS. Now, fine. Uh, now we are using the Tailwind CSS plugin in our Vite project. Now let's just see the next steps. Okay. We have to import this Tailwind CSS into our global CSS file. And in our case, it is index.css. So I will just copy that line. And it's there. Fine. And now let's check the next step. Next step are just as uh, running the project and uh, using the Tailwind directly. Now let's just go. Okay, now I think our Tailwind CSS setup is complete. And now what we have to do is, okay, let's just check before that. Okay, now we just have to use the Tailwind classes here in our project. Now let me show you our project is already running. It is planned because I remove all the styles right now. And this container is still assigned, which is non-existent. So let me remove this. 
So first, let me give this uh, outermost div a full width. Okay, why it disappeared? Okay, its width will be full. And this intelligence is due to like uh, because I'm using a um, extension for the tailwind CSS. Let me show you. Uh, this one. Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. So you can also install this thing in your code editor. Okay, now let us see. Width will be full, height will be screen, and background will be red 300. Fine. Now let us see if it's working or not. It's working. Can you see how fast it is and how durable and uh, efficient this is we don't have to jump to the csl file again and again so just like that uh, we can also define the flex box like display flex to be flex the align item center to be item center and uh, justify content center to be justify center now anything i will write in this div then it will be centered automatically like uh, i can type a name called react master class till win css and if i go to this it is automatically sent automatically centered okay let me just have a, another tag called h1 and i will place this react tail win and now let's see it's there but there will be no styling why because it resets all the stylings of all the elements to none. Now let's just give it some styles like text, 2x, 3x. It's for the size of the text. And text color. Okay, it's not like that. It will be text and you can give the hex code or HSV, HSL, whatever you want. Uh, I will give it. D0 F F00 to be the green color. Fine. And uh, now I'll just check it's green in color. And just like that, I will just give it a black, uh, grayish color a little bit. And it's good now. And if I want to make it bolder and font bold, it is also called font semi bold, but we are using it as bold. We can underline it. And it is underlined. As you can see, we don't have to type the classes as we are uh, typing just the classes name, which are already provided. This uh, speeds up our development. And suppose like uh, I want to uh, define some hover event here. So I will call hover here. And while hovering, its uh, color will be, text color will be, uh, I will say red. Okay, I can directly type it here like red here. And on hover, it will be underlined. We can remove this underline here. And then now let's just see. If we hover, it's underlined. We can also give it some cursor pointer. This is cursor pointer. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Okay, fine. So this is how we can use the Tailwind CSS very efficiently. And this will also speed up our development. And now you can, uh, uh, it's a rabbit hole kind of thing because if I want to show you the full depth of Tailwind CSS, then it will take us a lot of time. So I don't want to uh, waste any more time. I just want you to uh, read the documentation of the Tailwind CSS because it provides every single thing that you can use in the Tailwind CSS, which are already provided in the CSS. So if I go to go to the docs, you can see uh, how to achieve the responsive designs in the layouts and what themes you can follow and you can define your own custom themes like uh, here just go to the tailwind css i mean the index.css file and you can define this
team and inside that you can define the variables for your uh, custom elements and uh, just like that uh, i can define it uh, color gold which will be i mean it will be followed by these two things um gold color fine and if i want to use that color here i can say not the text red instead text gold let's just check again color gold it is color gold not gold color gold now if we go to our app okay nothing is working i don't know why okay i think we don't need this color here now let's just check okay now it's working uh, the color is a alias here so it will be followed by the custom color so that's why we have already defined our variable called gold so that's why it is coming as the gold color now now you can um, do many more things with the tailwind css and i will encourage you to explore further and that's it for our tailwind css tutorial happy journey happy coding